Hello, everybody. So I want to talk a little bit about the yin and the yang. So yin is feminine, left side. Yang, masculine, right side of the body. Generally, yin is bringing in the negative. Right is positive. You can get all deep in it if you choose to. It's really not necessary. What the whole point of the messages that keep coming through about this is to understand that there has to be a balance between the characteristics of both. And both are needed to be strengthened and strong in order to make the world go round. Okay, we have male and female plants, birds, bees, makes honey in the trees, you know, that kind of thing. So what is the yin and the yang? So it's the concept of dualism. It, you know, it's describing how something that is, you know, polar opposite or the opposite, yet it's complementary to each other. It's interconnected, you know, so you can't imagine one without the other. So I always think of oil and vinegar. People say, oh, they don't, they get along like oil and vinegar because oil and vinegar separate when they're in a bottle. They don't join together as far as molecules go and blend. But can you imagine a salad dressing without oil and vinegar? Could you just imagine that? So to me, I think oil and vinegar are a perfect match. They blend at the right places and they separate at the right places, creating this amazing compliment to each other right it's wow so then i want to bring it into what i hear so much about is twin flames and you know twin flame has been made into a counterpart a twin of yourself all right we all have many parts of ourselves on many different dimensions. So here on earth, twin flame has been made that one is looking for the other in order to be complete in a relationship. So relationships that don't make it or are not compatible in the ways that this, I want to call an illusionary relationship that's been created like the Hallmark Channel. You know, it's where, you know, there's all this romance and bonding and fantastic sex and all kinds of things. So it creates this pre-programmed illusion that you're in search of your twin flame outside of yourself. Now, some relationships can come together and meet and, and be literally best friends forever. And, and that doesn't necessarily mean that they're twin flames. It could be that that is their vibrational compatibility and they've stayed on that for many years, you know, to the course of their, their marriage or their relationship or whatever it is. And so then you also have um, something like what, what, what I have. Okay, so what I have is my twin flame is on the other side. I left my twin flame there to be in charge of my spiritual development. That doesn't mean that there's another soul compatible to my vibration here because there are many different combinations of relationships based on frequency and vibration wants, desires, needs, what you pre-programmed yourself to, to do. So maybe you had to go through a couple bad relationships in order to know yourself better and then how to work on you so that you could be the best of you and you're vibrating in a different attraction. Okay. So your, your beacons are going out there and it's only allowing what's, what's, what's vibrating here to match it. You know, but a lot of people like to dominate. 
So they want to be the prince or the princess. And so they want to pick people that are just vibrating just a hair under, thinking that now they have the upper power in a relationship and this person should be devoted to their feet, you know, so to speak. But those relationships never, ever work. There's also relationships of twin flame that you didn't finish something in a past life and you could come together and it could be, it could be fire on fire, like gasoline and fire. Like, yeah, you're attracted to them and there's something about them and, and you mix obligation and that with what you're really here to do and that's resolve all the the shiitake you left in another lifetimes. So twin flames can come together on many, many lifetimes and finish business and then come together like butter in a certain lifetime. So I'm listening to friends and people I know that are just all on this twin flame game. And they're looking for their counterpart outside of them when quite honestly, you know, if you're born a female, then your higher self is a male. So how do you counterbalance all of that and live a physical life? Because we are spirit living a physical life with the soul unconditionally holding us in this love space connected to the infinite intelligent creator. Spirit and the soul aren't the same thing. The spirit's here having all the experiences. The cold, the soul is, is literally collecting all of the data and still having no judgment and holding you in that loving, exuberant space of the infinite divine, period. So when we're in search of something outside of ourselves, that means we're lacking in connection from within thyself. So you've heard me talk about getting a good relationship with the me, myself, and I of it. So that you feel 100% complete in who you are and the path that you're walking. And anyone that comes along, you don't waver your, your frequency and your vibration. So when someone comes along, they must be compatible and complement that or you're not gonna go down a road of relationship with them. So when we're younger, we go in and out of relationships and we learn our lessons, right? We're just sort of like, you know, figuring out what it is that we like and don't like, how we wanna be treated. You know, sometimes our parents didn't really set the best example, nor did they really talk to us about that. And God forbid if we're getting it on Harlequin romance books. You know, what a man should look like, what a woman should look like, what a woman's job is, what a man's job is. That creates such separation in any relationship. And one can't dominate the other. You've got to be equal in that give and take and flow. So sometimes you're on this duty, sometimes I'm on that duty. Sometimes you know, and sometimes you know. Okay, so... It's still learning lessons, which is what our spirit is here to do in this physical house, is learning our lessons and trying things and deciding, do I like, do I not like, you know? Is it working for me? Is it getting me to higher states of consciousness or is it not working for me? And honestly, the higher states of consciousness is where you wanna go because if not, you're gonna live like the lineage is before you where you're born, you go to school, and then you're supposed to be married off, and then man has his job, the woman has her job, and then now you both have jobs, and then, you know, you stay together because you you signed a contract, which to me just never made sense. Because if you're not getting along, you're enabling the other person to grow or yourself to grow if you're staying out of loyalty and commitment. Um, I know for me in my 20s when I made a mistake and learned a lesson in a way that I said I would never repeat it again 
but I had a child that needed to be in the world. And so I decided, no, this wasn't going to be my life. And let me tell you, I got shunned by my entire family because religion just did not allow that. But my morals and my spirit wouldn't allow the abuse to be shown to my daughter that that was okay. So it all worked out in the end, but it takes courage to step out there. And then when you spend a lot of time by yourself or you're being in service of others, but you're also being in service of yourself, you can't self-sacrifice too much. You can't, oh, whatever everybody wants to do all the time. You gotta step up and say, this is what I'd like to do. This is what I'd like to have for dinner. This is where I would like to go. Not like, oh, okay, because really you're not owning yourself. So your fifth chakra is just not ever gonna open up and it's not gonna be in union with heart, throat, and so on. So it's all about the courageous part of living your life. So with this twin flame thing, everyone's in this delusional illusion that Oh, where is he? Where is she? Where are they? You know, oh, I'm so, and they well, you'll never be filled. Even if you did find someone that was compatible, your vibration is vibrating on a quivery scale there. And, and eventually that relationship probably won't work because it's really about the relationship with yourself. So learn how to be in balance with your feminine and your masculine side. And, you know, there were many eras there where the women warriors were the hunter gatherers, all right? They were the ones that went to war and so on and so forth. Men are physically stronger and at some point in time, and we don't need to get into why, you know, men were brought up to the forefront on pedal stools and women were basically like, you know, you don't matter. And that's all coming into change. Well, it's been gradually coming into change by courageous people who have stepped forward to say we will no longer accept being treated like that. So you can read all the books that you want. And honestly, I don't. I tap into what my guides are telling me. And some of us are meant to be in relationships, loving, rela lovers, you know, connections. Um, and some aren't, period. Maybe they've had them and just moving forward, your path is to do something else. So if you're longing for a relationship, you need to tap into that inner self and say, what exactly am I longing for? You know, what is it that I, I feel like I'm missing? And you know, if it's sex or a hug, you can, you can get that. But most people are looking for intimacy. Someone that they can literally authentically just throw themselves down and still be loved and accepted and respected. You know, and I think I was wiser way beyond my years because before people even opened up and talked about intimacy, I used to say foreplay starts everywhere but the bedroom, okay? Because we hang on to so many mental things that are happening. And I don't want everyone to get so caught up in this twin flame thing, soul mate thing. Because once again, who the heck started this? It was another form of keeping you separate, making you think that, oh, we'll write a book and then we'll make everybody think, program them this way. And everyone will always feel like they're just lacking. That's another part of the, the enslavement, you know, the pre-programming. Get out of it. You'll never be anything in any relationship to anyone, including yourself, if you don't stop, drop, sit, breathe, and really truly be in harmony with all of your chakras, your root, your, your soul path. You know, there's many things that we can do during our life, but what was, a, what was one thing that we really meant to do? 
I know for me, it's healing. It's reaching out and touching people. It's, it's that inner connection of there's so much more than just you in this physical hood. But yet I've done so many different things up until this lifetime of decades have gone by. Not that many decades, just so you know, not that many decades. <laughs> well, enough to be extremely wiser than I was a decade ago because we're all here gathering data and we're living to learn, we're learning to live, okay? They said that real clear just now. You're living to learn and you're learning to live, okay? Stop giving all your power away to books and YouTube and podcasts and everybody's angle and Oh, it all happened back in, uh, you know, Atlantis when everything blew up and the male and the female separated and they've never been together since. And you have the power to call all that in. You have the power to heal and love any traumas. You have the power to redesign your cells. Yeah, that's another subject. Hmm. Just be with that a little bit. I'm sure more information will come through and I'll post it out. Meantime, you know, just really, truly, just really, truly, truly, truly. Mm. love it. All right. Talk to you soon.